Hello everyone. So yes, let's talk about writing an email graphical interface with Rust. So this morning we had a talk about cost economics and there I heard users should perceive the value of what you're doing. So if you're going to write a, uh, if you're going to port something to Rust, the users will perceive no, uh, no, no value. So that doesn't sound very good. Uh, also, porting something to Rust is called oxidation. In other words, uh, burning things. Yeah. Also, doesn't sound very popular. So, why, what am I doing? Well, that's what, there are other motivations than money. In this case, scratching my itch or just having a bit of fun. Um, I wrote a email client uh, out of an example for Rust Cube binding generator. The Rust Cube binding generator is a project of mine to let you write user applications, uh, graphical user ap applications with Rust and Cube. And uh, I've had a long interest in Rust. I really like the language, so I wanted to, uh, yeah, write some code in there. Uh, five minutes, and I'm going to skip these ones. So, oh yeah, so I'm holding the mic a bit up um, to get some attention for my uh, for my uh, binding generator. I was writing blog posts, and the first one was just introducing the the framework. The second one was a very simple example, uh, Rust and QML, a timely example in which I uh, show how to write a clock with uh, picking hands. That's kind of a tradition in KDE. It's the, hello, the graphical hello world of KDE is a clock. Um, and the second one was how to do uh, a to-do list in Rust. That's uh, the theme that you see here, and it was just a list of items. So it's still fairly simple user interface. And I wanted to really show the power of what you can do with Qt, so I thought, well, what's uh, more elaborate user interface. Well, that's a, a tree widget. And web application typically has a tree widget. Well, in my case, I thought of uh, the email client. So why not just write a small email client purely for writing and illustrating a blog post? Uh, Kmail is my inspiration. It's my daily email client. And uh, here's a screenshot of Kmail. And here's a screenshot of what I have ended up with so far. Uh, so you can see it's fairly similar. And uh, there's also threading, it's not in the screenshot, but uh, email threading is in there, and it works really great. So, oh. Uh, yeah. Um, so, if you want to write an email client in Rust, there are many crates you can just reuse. It's a great ecosystem, and as of this week, there's even a email working group in Rust, so it's going to be even, uh, uh, even better. And Rust itself is a pleasant, safe, and fast language. The program is called a uh, mail model. Uh, it's, you can build it with cargo. You can find it on the, uh, on the crates repository. You use it, there's a, a core to it, which is independent of uh, Qt. That's actually 90% of the code. It's just how to deal with email. And then there's a QML UI on top of it. Uh, and it's very well possible to add, for example, a GTK uh, UI or a Conrad or an Op TK. These are all other user interfaces that work with, uh, with Rust on top of it. But I haven't done it yet. What are the features? Well, you can browse uh, a mail directory. You can browse IMAP. It shows text and HTML. It does encryption. Uh, what you can't yet do is get your email at top, and you can't send email yet. That's the next big feature. I already have the user interface for it. So far, I'm just reading emails, and I feel like I'm being silenced, but uh, I'll get there. Uh, so yeah, what are the results from this tiny experiment? To me, it was an awesome development experience. I think Rust is just a great language, and the bindings, okay, I wrote them myself, but they're pretty cool as well. The performance is extreme, and that's something I'm going to demo quickly. So um, here's Kmail, and I'm going to open the folder with the KDE Frameworks mails, and that has um, 60,000 emails in it. Yeah, so I'm going to click it. Now, this is loaded from a cache. So KDE caches all of this uh, to make it faster. But uh, it's counting, bam. Well, how many? It was like five seconds. Okay. Now, uh, this mail application. Oh, let me briefly check if I'm actually running it in release mode. Because if I'm running it in debug mode, it would be a bit slow. Yeah.
Oh, oh. Demo coming up. Demo coming up. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Well, to see the demo, just come to my laptop. It goes like this. Oh, it's here. Yeah. One more click. Nope, 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 nope. And we're done. Thank you very much. All right.